Hi everyone, today I'm going to be talking you through my winter edit and this is basically me talking you through the products that I'm using for my winter makeup routine because throughout the year I tend to get very excited about products and then I just hang on to them like a kid who just gets a puppy and they strangle it. So that means that you don't see too many different products throughout the year but winter and summer I kind of tend to change things up quite drastically. So I thought I would show you some of the products that I'm substituting from summer to winter because in summer you would have seen many videos on me not wearing foundation or wearing as little foundation as possible but in winter I do like to get some kind of glow on my skin because it does tend to look really dull so for foundation I'm going in with the bourgeois healthy mix foundation I really like this because it gives more of a natural glow for me in winter I just like to add a little bit more glow than usual and my skin as I said tends to look a bit dull like a dead person like a corpse like a mummy so I have to pack on the glow in winter and the way I like to do that as well is to use a, yes, this is dirty. This is the Real Techniques uh, Miracle Complexion Sponge. I really feel like this actually adds some moisture to my uh, foundation routine. So that is my second layer of foundation <laughs> because I actually think this beauty blender does kind of, um, I can't call it a beauty blender, it's not an actual beauty, beauty blender. Um, I think it does actually sheer out your foundation a little bit. Um, so I'm just putting on a little bit more. So if you're anything like me and you tend to get two or three shades darker in summer and then it rolls around to winter and you don't have a foundation, then you can try and use something like this which is the Body Shop um, Shade Lightning Drops. You can put a few pumps of your foundation in your hand or on your hand and then do one or two drops of this lightning um, stuff from the Body Shop and this is supposed to lighten your foundation which means you can use the same foundation for summer and winter, you don't need to go and buy a whole new bottle. I spoke about this in my last video where I said that I'm using the Essence Make Brow Wow makeup box but also if you want to see how I used it then go and take a look at that video. I will link it in that kind of like pop out thing over here. So with brows done I'm moving on to concealer and unfortunately there's nothing different happening here. I'm still using the Catrice Camouflage Cream underneath my eyes to kind of adjust those dark purpley blue shades underneath. After that I use the Catrice Retouch Light Reflecting Concealer. You've seen this before. You know how much I love this and this is in the shade 005 Light Nude. And I still love this because, hello, light reflecting. I need some really serious glow in winter because I do tend to get dry. I know I've said this before, I don't know why I keep saying it. And I'm pretty liberal with this stuff. I like to kind of get it everywhere because underneath the eyes I need as much concealing as possible. And then when I put it around my mouth, chin, bridge of my nose and forehead, that's more for highlighting. Touch of highlighting, it's not anything serious. And then I blend that in with my Real Techniques setting brush. And now that I'm looking a little bit more awake and alive, I'm going to go in for eyes. And for that I'm using the Urban Decay Sin um, Eyeshadow Primer. It's because I'm going for a darker lip shade, I think I'm going to go quite light with the eyes, but still do a little bit of dark chocolatey brown on the outer corner. And for the shade that's going to go right onto my lid, I'm using this eyelid shade from the Wet n Wild... What palette is this? Oh, Comfort Zone palette. And this shade is so, so beautiful. It reminds me a lot of MAC All That Glitters. Really, really beautiful, kind of shimmery, pinky, um, very neutral shade. And I'm just putting this all over my eyelid, kind of up until the crease, not going past the crease. And then I'm going to go in with the darker shade in the crease. I'm going to go in with this dark chocolatey brown shade from the Steeler Eyes of the Mind palette. And this is the all matte eyeshadow palette. I absolutely love this. And I'm going to focus this in my crease and then just blend it out because it's going to look a little bit crazy for now. I blend that all out with my MAC 224 brush. So a brush that's going to work really well for this is something that's very fluffy and can just go all over your eyelid and you move around in windshield wiper motions just like that. Just to blend it out, make it a little more subtle so you don't look like you just plunk that shade anywhere and you're just going to go. Blending is key with any eyeshadow look. Unless you're doing a punk and then you don't need to blend. Once I feel like that's sufficiently blended, I'm going to go in with that brown shade underneath my eyes and I'm going to keep this as close to my lash line as possible. Because so I've looked at my upper lash line and I really think that needs something. So I think I'm just going to take the same chocolatey shade and just run this along my upper lash line. I think that's a lot better because I have a little bit more definition around the outer part of my lashes. 
but I never ever take it right to the corner because I find that closes off my eye way too much. And this mascara I've been using, wait, 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 Lay, I'm going a little bit too fast there. I'm first going to curl my eyelashes. So for mascara, I'm going in with the MAC Extended Play, and usually I would do this on my lower lashes, and I kind of restricted it to my lower lash line. But the other day, in the effort of testing out these mascaras to their fullest, I thought I would try this on my upper lashes and see how it goes, and let me tell you, it is amazing. I absolutely love this mascara. It just kind of lengthens my, my eyelashes in a way that I've never seen them lengthen before. And it can also be layered with other mascaras. So I tend to do this one and then the, what is this? The False Lashes Mascara afterwards for a little bit of volume. But this is honestly amazing for length. It pulls right through your lashes and I absolutely love it. Seriously, look how good my eyelashes are already. And then I'm still gonna go in with the MAC False Lash Mascara. And this just adds a little bit more volume and kind of makes my lashes a little bit thicker because I find with the extended play, the um, wand is really, really skinny. So it kind of coats every single eyelash, which is great. And then this is just for a little bit more volume. Is it just me or does anyone else like one eye more than the other? For some reason, I absolutely love these lashes and then this one's just a little bit wonky. I'm going to go in with a little bit of bronzer because we all know that in winter we just need a little bit of color, a little bit of life because when winter rolls around and you're inside all day, let's be honest, you are inside all day because you don't want to leave the house. You need a little bit of color and for that I'm using the MAC MAC bronze and I'm using this very big fluffy MAC one three is it one three three one three eight one three eight brush and this I kind of direct on my cheekbones and also a little bit underneath remember bronzing is not cont contouring it's not the same thing this is a little more for warmth than for contouring out the hollows of your face and then kind of all over the forehead sticking kind of towards the perimeters of your face so closer to your hairline and then also along my temples tiny tiny bit of my chin my nose and I think that's it I don't want to look like a terracotta kind of oompa loompa not my goal a little bit of this NYX ultra pearl mania kind of loose pigment um, and I'm going to do this as a highlighter on my inner corners I'm just going to plonk that let me get a closer mirror plonk that on my inner corners so for highlighter I'm using the MAC mineralized skin finish in soft and gentle this stuff is beautiful You've heard me speak about it before and every other blogger slash youtuber has spoken about it and i'm focusing this highlighter on the tops of my cheekbones and also going up my temples a little bit over there i'm also going to do cupid's bow down the bridge of my nose and then because i can't fit that fan brush on my brow bone i'm just going to use this kind of fluffy angled brush to get a little bit of that highlighter onto my brow bone as well so for lips, I'm going into something that has been very hyped up. Everyone is very excited about it, partly because it's MAC and partly because it's a MAC liquid lipstick. And this is the Retro Matte Lip Liquid Lipstick. Get it out, Michelle. This is the Retro Matte Liquid Lipstick from MAC in the shade High Drama. This is so beautiful. It's like an Oxbad color, but a little bit more black. And it's so beautiful. You just need to wipe off whatever lip product you've had on before because your lips, seriously, they cannot be flaking or kind of meh you are going to see almost every imperfection when you smear this onto your lips. If you make a mistake, it's pretty hard to get it off, so I'm going to concentrate on this and then I'm going to be back with you once I'm finished. Hopefully I don't screw it up. So that's the first coat on my bottom lip and it's kind of patchy. It's lighter towards the center but darker around the edges, so I'm just going in with the second coat and then it'll be a little bit more opaque. See what I mean by really dark, almost black? It is not a color for everyone. You are not all gonna like this, and that is totally fine with me. So I don't think this is a very good color for someone who's a beginner. It's pretty tricky to get on initially, so you kinda need to go in with the first layer, let it dry a little bit, not completely, and then go in with the second layer to get it completely opaque. Um, if you do make a mistake, it's kind of like, oh, are you gonna overdraw your lips now? Um, I have forgotten to put on some mascara, so I'm gonna do mascara on my lower lashes, and then I'll be back with you to close off this video. Well, that mascara has definitely brought this look in completely, and I absolutely love this. This is a great look for a night out, maybe. I kind of wouldn't wear this during the day to like a meeting, because people would be like, oh, wow, okay. So interesting. I think even my boyfriend did that the first time I wore this. He was like, what is going on on your lips? 
but all in all I'm really really happy with this look it's a very nice winter edit because you get some bronze in winter we all need some sun and see why I said we need to go quite neutral and quite light on the eyes because the lips are the main focus of this so look out for my next video because it's going to be a winter edit home edition so I'm very excited about it and I hope that you guys are too if you really like this look and if you are bold enough to wear lips like this then let me know in the comments if you're not subscribed and you'd like to see any of my future videos then click subscribe and you will get a notification when it's in your subscription box or you will get an email which means you can watch my videos almost in immediately so if that is your vibe then subscribe and if you enjoyed this video then give it a thumbs up excited to see you guys in the next video bye bye